start. Uh, dear students, very good afternoon to another person here. Today we are going to see about the Langley's constant and what, how, how to calculate the Langley's constant, which is noted by the lambda. The notation is lambda. That is the Langley's constant. So the Langley's constant plays a vital role in the case of theory of elasticity and plasticity, especially in the case of the advanced solid mechanics, either in the UG or PG. Right. So lambda is defined as the ratio of the Poisson's ratio into x minus divided by 1 minus Poisson's ratio into 1 minus 2 nu, where nu is the Poisson's ratio. All of you know that the Poisson's ratio nu or 1 by m or nu is the lateral strain to linear strain. So that we have seen in the case of the solid mechanics or the strength of materials. Okay. So where nu is the Poisson's ratio is the x minus of velocity of a given material. Then coming to the plane strain. So we have seen about the plane stress in the mass class, the plane strain at a point, right? So that is a very important factor in the case of our theory of elasticity or TOE, we call it as. Okay? So plane strain, for example, so I want to calculate the design D, right? Uh, you can see that retaining wall with internal pressure. So retaining wall in the case of a right the side of the road side of a below region or any other right undulating surface to have formed the road, right? <coughs> you have to go for the rate any one which is of either right uh, two to five hundred meter or one kilometer or two kilometers. So number of rate any words along the length of the road. Okay, so that is the one example where the plane strain case is applied in the right area of process case. The second case is a tunnel tunnel go to the tunnel. Right, you take the atel tunnel so that the student is going to visit right uh, in the month of uh, last week of April, atel tunnel nearly around the 29 kilometers under the Kilog regions, so which is of diameter, right, two meter to three meter the defense, right. So that is a very important uh, right project by the uh, central government, which named as the atel river watch by this atel. So that is another example. So very long length of the tunnel or the cylindrical right tube with the internal pressure. Right, you take the pipe which carries the water from the Sudhwani Dam to the Point to right city. Or you take from the William model of a right another project right to the Point to city and the remote city. Right, so those are all coming under the theory of velocity analysis and design. So very long length, so which is a 40 kilometer or 50 kilometer from the religion to the particular city where the consumer is taking the benefit, that is the water supply. Okay, so which is of 1.5 meter to 2 meter diameter. Okay, so those are all the cases you have to design a subway strain cases. Right, so in which the length is very large. For example, I am taking the z direction. So the z direction, what will happen? The edge on z is equal to 0. Similarly, the stresses, here stresses, right, tau yz and tau zx is equal to 0. Because it is a very large length, right, the elongation is very, very small or the shear strain is very, very small. So you have to take it as a nullified one, that is 0. So in that direction, the strain will be 0. Okay, so this is about the plane, right, strain case, in which the epsilon z or the shear strain in the yz plane or z x plane. But tau xy or gamma xy uh, or is not equal to zero. Only the z tens will come. So those strains, either shear strain or the ratio strain is zero. Now coming to the number of equilibrium equations in the theory of equations. Right, so you can see. The first one is the equilibrium equation. What you have uh, derived in the case of the first one, that is plane stresses cases, right? So rho sigma x by rho x plus rho tau x y divided by rho y plus the body force in the x direction is equal to zero. You know, tau x y is the shear strain. Sigma x is the corresponding arm stress in the x direction. Body force in the x direction equal to zero. Similarly, you can go far in the y direction, right? Sigma rho tau y x divided by rho x plus rho sigma y by rho y plus dy equal to 0. So here tau y x is equal to tau x y, right? Then dy body force in the y direction is equal to 0. Then what about the z direction? Right, z direction, 
right? Tau y is at or tau z x is equal to zero. That's why zero plus zero. The diagonal, right? These are the diagonals. Okay. So do sigma z by do z. That is all stress with respect to the corresponding partial differential with respect to z direction plus b z. Right? Body force the z direction will be that is equal to zero. So this is about the equilibrium equation that I called as number one. So we have seen the case of frame stress equations. Okay. Then coming to the second one, strain and displacement relations. Displacement is u x u y u z. Right? The strain is the corresponding f zero x. Then tau x y f zero z. You know the f zero z is equal to zero. Similarly, right? Gamma y z shear strain. Gamma, right? Y z plus uh, the shear strain in the z axis is equal to zero. But what about in the x direction? F zero x is equal to linear strain in the x direction is do u x y do x and f zero y is equal to do u y y do y, right? And Gamma x y shear strain in the x y direction. So that will not be zero only. Gamma y right z x and gamma z x is equal to zero, right? That is equal to do u x y do y. You know the do u x y do y plus do u y y do x. Already I have told you this equation is the first one, right? So this equation I call as number two. This is about the strain and displacement relation. Displacement of u x u y u z. Strain means f zero x and right uh, gamma x y. Okay. Then coming to right the third one, which is part of the stress strain relations in the case of plane strain case. Okay. They will ask what is the stress strain relation in the plane stress case and plane strain case. And we will write the equations. Okay. So this is one by e. f zero is that is equal to you know it is zero. So what is the value? You know. 1 by e x plus e already we have seen that sigma z minus e into sigma x plus sigma y. So you can even simplify this. Sigma x plus sigma y equal to zero means you put it on the other side. So this 1 by e on the top is zero. So finally sigma z is equal to gamma into nu. That is this one sigma nu by this ratio into sigma x plus sigma y. Okay. Then hence f zero x is equal to right f zero x is equal to 1 by e into Sigma x minus nu into sigma y plus sigma z. You substitute sigma, right? X plus sigma y. You have nothing left. You can replace it. So finally, you will get f zero x and f zero y are one plus nu divided by x minus a velocity into sigma x into one minus nu into minus nu into sigma y. After substituting this, you can simplify it. Then coming to f zero y is equal to one plus nu divided by g. Sigma y into so sigma x sigma y into one minus nu minus nu into so sigma y here sigma x. So this is about the relations of epsilon x and epsilon y. So whatever the epsilon z that is equal to zero, from that only we got that sigma x z. That is nu into sigma x plus sigma y. Okay. So then shear strain gamma x y that is equal to the ordinary right uh, relations. What is that? Shear stress by shear modulus. No shear strain is equal to right. Shear strain is equal to shear stress by shear modulus. Or shear modulus is equal to shear stress by the shear strain. You can put it here, right? So tau x y divided by g. Then the fourth relation, right? That is strain compatibility equation. Here we only one equation because the other dimension is zero. Okay. So rho square epsilon x divided by rho y square plus rho square epsilon y by rho x square. Is equal to rho square gamma x y. What is the gamma x y? Shear strain in the x y plane, right? Divided by rho x into rho y. So these are the four conditions we have seen in the case of plane strain in the theory of velocity or advanced strength of material or advanced solid mechanics. Right? Thank you very much for uh, passionately listening. Thank you. Thank you very much.